Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Carlos Lara, and today I'm going to talk about facts. The facts are that 70% of the economy is based on consumer spending. How are we going to maintain that? We're going to maintain that by raising the minimum wage to $15. It will also help reduce poverty, reduce race and gender inequality, and will help reduce the federal deficit. Now let's dive deeper into the facts. What is poverty? Currently a full-time employee, the federal minimum earnings is 7.25 an hour. Annually, that's only 15,000 annually. What is the poverty level right now? Anybody? What is the poverty, poverty level for the US? 20,000. 12,000. So a full-time employee making minimum wage is making annually 15,000. That's only 20% the federal poverty level. Think about that. How can our youth survive with just 15,000 to take care of their family? Now that person making 625 an hour, they're dependent on welfare, the welfare system. Who, who puts money into the welfare system? The taxpayer, you. Think about that. Increasing minimum wage would help reduce race and gender inequality as well. Here's an interesting fact. Facts are that women make up 47% of the U.S. workforce. But women also make up 63% of the minimum wage workforce. What does that mean to you, uh, Brianne, Jen? 63 percent of the women out there right now make minimum wage. What do you feel about that? Not good, not, not good right? <laughs> How can a single mom making 15000 annually survive? The only way is what? Welfare. So now they, they fall into the welfare system. Their children do. That's all they knew. No. Not because she wants to but because the system is designed to make her and her family dependent on welfare. Finally, it will help reduce the federal deficit. How? Very simple. By lowering spending public assistance programs and increasing tax revenue. Let's put money back into the system, not by making people dependent on the system, but putting them to work, making them want to work, not work two to three jobs, one job. In conclusion, in short, policymakers need to understand by raising the minimum wage, it will help not hurt the economy and employment. This change will boost the economy and will take us to the future. Any questions? Yes. Do you think that raising the minimum wage would cause employers to limit hours? Yes, so there's always a cause and effect to things. Um, if you're gonna implement a rule like minimum wage, increasing minimum wage, uh, regulators need to understand that they need to hold employers at a certain sector, not the small business employers, but we're talking about the McDonald's, the billion dollar companies. We're, we're, we're basically telling them, hey, instead of putting the money in the CEO's pocket, put it back into your, the staff, the people that actually make you money. Um, and that's my answer to that. So at the end of the day, if you have, you're making a certain amount of money, you should have a certain amount of uh, employees. Uh, I know that one of the arguments that uh, Chris is gonna say is that, you know what, then they're gonna have technology um, take over employment. But you know what, what about those jobs that are gonna be created to make those, those um, technology computer systems? How about keep those jobs in the US? not in China. Make that another uh, job opportunity. How about let's pay them $15 an hour to create that, that, that high-tech equipment that can work in McDonald's. So it's all about creating, not just making people dependent on, on the system. Any other questions? Yeah, okay, thanks.